The president of Ukraine gave an inspiring speech the day before, saturated with pride for his people and encouraging Ukrainians to fight even harder for their independence. Vladimir Zelensky said that Russia will have no victory days left after its defeat in the war with Ukraine. Zelensky said this in a video posted a few minutes before Putin's propaganda parade on Red Square. Soon Ukraine will have two victory days. And some people won't even have one left. Addressing the great people of mighty Ukraine, President Zelensky accused Putin of repeating the terrible crimes of Hitler's regime. He also said that Russia stepped on a rake by invading Ukraine. Every occupant who comes to our land is stepping on this rake, he said. Zelensky added, our enemy wished that we refused to celebrate the 9th of May and the victory over Nazism. But today we are fighting for a new victory. Zelensky called, crazy, Putin is doomed. Because he was cursed by millions of ancestors when he started imitating the German Fuhrer, he said. And therefore he's going to lose everything. Zelensky, in his signature green shirt, was walking down Kreschatik, Kiev's main street, still dotted with metal barricades. He said Russia resented Ukraine's freedom. We are free people who have our way. That scares them, he said. There are no shackles that can bind our free spirit. He ended his five-minute speech by saying, we won then. And we will win now. Glory to Ukraine. The country celebrated its third decade of freedom from the Soviet Union with a military parade on Kreschatik on August 24. Zelensky said that Russia behaved like a pretend friend, which is worse than an insidious enemy. Zelensky's video was released just an hour before Putin spoke on Red Square in Moscow to celebrate Victory Day over the Nazis. Russia had hoped to use the May 9 celebration to promote its achievements in Ukraine. But a series of military setbacks and fierce Ukrainian resistance made this impossible. Instead, Putin claimed that he invaded Ukraine to protect Russian minorities inside the country. He also accused the West of conspiring to invade Russia. But the Kremlin leader stopped short of what many feared, a formal declaration of war against Kyiv. This would have allowed him to mobilize Russian military reserves and bring in more civilians to escalate hostilities across the border. A planned flyby of his doomsday nuclear rescue plane was also cancelled at the last minute, reportedly due to a breakdown. The parade itself was also shortened compared to previous years, with nearly a third fewer vehicles on display than in 2020. This is because Russia has deployed, and lost, most of its ground troops in Ukraine. 